Okay, joining us now is Josie Weisel, a Media Center Coordinator for Goldsboro High School in Goldsboro, North Carolina. And she is going to talk a little bit about, considering she has direct experience with high school students, about how libraries and public libraries especially help those students prepare for the college experience. So Josie, as a Media Center Coordinator, as someone who works with high school students, what are some of the skills that you observe that they're expected to know for their class assignments and before they graduate? For graduating high school, we here in Wayne County have a um, high school graduation project that the students are supposed to complete. It's, always, it's been a bone of contention with the students for the past two years since its inception, particularly as a lot of school districts in North Carolina decided to not do the graduation project. But our school district did. One of the main problems is, even though they have had lessons in how to do research, the students still have problems doing a research paper. They, um, they, they don't want to use books, obviously, they are supposed to use books, and I buy in books that are suitable for their projects, you know, uh, opposing viewpoints books, things like that, but they want to get all their information from the internet. Now, that starts a problem when they want to do their citation, because they're required to do a citation in MLA format. We do use the citation maker which is put out by the state through ncwisal.org and that's basically a template but for the website citations there is information that they're not able to find so that's one of the problems using the internet for their research and the other problem is basically they just want to write I I don't believe this or I don't think so-and-so, so-and-so, so-and-so. They don't know how to do a research project, even though we go through it, we have done the big six with them. If they st Either they are missing on that day and they don't catch up, or they're just not listening. I don't know what the problem is with the research. And, and how do you feel those problems they're having now feed into the kind of problems they have when they start in college? Well, the same thing is going to apply in college. They will be doing research. And unless there's some way we can bridge that gap, they're going to start off at a disadvantage. Now, this year, our graduation rate was so low because students haven't completed their graduation project that we've had a lot of volunteers come in working with those students. But I'm still not convinced that they know how to do a research project. They, the volunteers basically went through their papers and said, okay, you need to correct this, you need to correct that. But a lot of those volunteers, they didn't know how to make a citation, etc. And following the guidelines for the research was a task in and of itself because there were so many things they had to do. So basically when they get to college, they're still, in my opinion, the majority of them are still not going to know how to do research. And in what ways do you feel that the library, the school library, but also especially the public library, um, because it is open to everyone at you know all hours of the day, how do you feel they can help students cross that gap that you spoke of? Well, probably here locally, because you know the Wayne County Public Libraries knows that our students are required to do a research project. Maybe they could set up a table or a desk and say, research project advice here, something like that, you know. Because um, very often I think a lot of the students that come into the public library once school is over with, they are perhaps going to be more inclined to do their work, you know, because they're not sitting with their buddies. Hmm. And if their buddies aren't working, they're not going to work either. They're going to just chat. Whereas if they've taken the time to come to the public library, and if there is a desk that says, we can help you with your research projects, just come and ask, maybe that will help them. 
All right, well, thank you for your time, and you did bring up an excellent point about the students, you know, taking time to come to the library. And um, that is true. I've observed as the librarian out there that, you know, if they take the time to come in, they will get work done. Mm -hmm. And I've so. noticed every time I've come in after school, I always see students that I know mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, well, thank they you. They also use it. Thank you. We appreciate your time. You're very welcome. Thanks.